Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to perform audit tasks or audit trials in Hyperion planning application. Administrators can select artifact actions in the application for change tracking. Below is the list of the actions that can be audited in Hyperion planning application. Dimension administration. If we change an application properties, if we change any member properties, move dimension members across different parents, change any property on dimension members that will be recorded. Alias table administration. If we change default alias table or create alias table, in such cases, audit trails will be created. And data. If any user changes data, that will be recorded. Launch business rules. If any user runs any business rules, then and changes any prompts, that will be recorded. Form definition. Form folder administration. Approvals. Copy version. Security. User administration. Group administration. Creating users or modifying the groups. Offline. If we take any form to offline, we will discuss this option in smart view task list copy data clear cell details these options will be audited by default all these options will be unselected we need to select the options that we want suppose if i don't want to track any changes to task list or approvals or launching business rules or form definition we don't need to select those the famous option is data changes and next one is dimension administration security select the options that are required for organization it is recommended to discuss these options with end user client so that if something goes wrong they will not come back to the planning administrator it is better to discuss and prepare a document what kind of objects will be audited instead of this why don't we select all options yes that is possible but the problem is these audited records will be stored in rdbms database in relational database in the backend not in a space server if we select many audit options here, the database size increases and the performance of planning application may get impacted. Because of this reason, we need to select wisely. We can select any option that changes the data particularly. In order to access audit trails option, click tools, reports, click auditing and select the options and save selections how do we check the audit report now in order to check the audit report oracle hyperion planning doesn't have any direct option any reporting option in workspace unfortunately we have to open rdbms relational database front-end tool which is sql developer or SQL plus or Toad applications. I have opened SQL developer here. I need to write a query and retrieve the audit records. HSP underscore audit records is the table that stores audit changes. Here is the information that is stored so far. Under audit options, I have enabled audit forms property old value is false that means it was unselected new value is true that means it is selected account dimension workforce related accounts member this is the account member i have changed the property on this member from never shared to label only we are getting this option because we have selected auditing dimension members if i change data in smart view let's see how the audit record looks like here in this smart view for fy20 budget working version january month 
there is no data at the moment for this particular revenue services let me enter some value click submit i have changed the data from null value to thousand let's see the member names for this combination this is the account number and let's open sql developer and run this query again now you see another record saying that if you see row number 15 here type is data ad hoc write back grid that is smart view these are the combinations budget account number this is the reason why i have changed the alias in smart view here we will be able to see only member names alias names will not appear in this data auditing table entity number month version and all other combinations will appear here and who has modified username column time posted on what date it is posted and the action so this is data property value so we are changing the value from hash missing that is null value to thousand every time we change this data it will create a record in the backend let me execute this query now and see there is another record created again old value was thousand new value is 900 this is how you can create audit report if you want to export you can save this grid as report or export if you don't have access to database or need help with sql queries you can check with your oracle database administrator in this example you can also write where clauses where type like data or d d percentage so this will give you any changes in data in this session we have seen how to enable audit options and how to retrieve the data from hsp underscore audit underscore records table thank you for watching we'll see you in next session